The Google Pixel 7 Pro is possibly one of the nicest phones I have ever used. Just take a look at this shiny back. I've been daily driving this phone for around 2 weeks and I wanted to share some of my thoughts with you. Hey how's it going guys I'm Dom and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to talk to you about this, the Google Pixel 7 Pro which I've been daily driving for the past 2 weeks or so. And to cut long story short, I'm actually incredibly impressed with this phone, especially as someone who recently came from the Pixel 6 Pro. But we'll get into more detail about that a little bit later in this video, I wanted to start with a unboxing. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. Unfortunately, it was slightly damaged in transit. It's unbelievable that. Hopefully the phone is okay inside. Right. Fingers crossed it's just cosmetic. Wow. This is actually the first time I have the Pixel 7 Pro in my hand and that looks absolutely stunning, especially that metal plate. Listen to this. I love this sound. Cool. Yeah, I'm hoping that it's all fine. Hope that's the side for the time being. So yeah, inside of the box you have a classic white USB-C to USB-C cable, you have a USB-A to USB-C adapter as well. Yeah, that goes in somehow. And you also have a massive book. Wow. So there's a SIM card tool there as well. Uh, it's just a standard Pixel one. And yeah, what on earth is this? Wow. I'm kind of sad um, that once again there isn't a Team Pixel sticker in here. Why have you stopped doing that, Google? It's actually pretty cool. But yeah, let's see if it turns on. Yeah, look at that. Funny enough, I'm actually recording this using the Pixel 6 Pro. I'm not sure why, but that screen just looks a little bit better. And that's also reminded me that I need to get a screen protector for this. I absolutely adore this um, colour. So yeah, I'm just going to go and set this up now. Yeah, so... I've been using the Pixel 7 Pro for around two weeks and I've got to say I really really am enjoying this phone. I mean it just works really well. With the Pixel 6 Pro whilst the phone was really good I have suffered several crashes on it already within the first week. Um, now I don't know whether these crashes were related to my specific model but I have a funny feeling that they were. Uh, simply because of the fact that other people won't report reporting crashes uh, like that in the camera app. But I haven't had a single crash with the 7 Pro which I am absolutely over the moon with. Now screen protector wise I did manage to get a screen protector. Although the screen protector I'm currently using with this phone is funny enough one I had for my Pixel 6 Pro. It fits it incredibly well and you can't really tell the difference. Now I am using a screen protector film. I'm not using the protector glass simply because I know that I have had an issue um, with them sticking on my Pixel 6 Pro and I also hated that circle that they had around them for the fingerprint unlocker. But let me know if you have tried a screen protector glass on this phone and whether you think it's worth it. Um, in terms of the case I decided to go for it, I decided to go for the same case I had on my Z Flip 4, the Caseology Parallax. I think that this is an absolutely stunning case, it looks really cool, it feels really nice. I'm not sure if you can see but it's got these sort of cutouts there which makes the phone feel even nicer in your hand. 
and yeah this is what it looks like when it is in the phone I guess it is a bit of a shame that the camera bump is hidden a little bit in this case but then again it's better to be safe than sorry now one of the first things I notice about this phone is the fact that it has something that the Pixel 6 Pro didn't have and that's face unlock I wear glasses now and I was extremely worried about how face unlock will work with my glasses so I decided to show you. So, get a look at this. I'm not sure if you can see it. That's it. And now if I take my glasses off. It still saw me. Now another thing I wanted to mention is that there is a huge improvement with the fingerprint scanner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this phone. I'm going to cover the selfie cam to show you just how speedy it is. Now that is extremely fast compared to what I remember it being on the Pixel 6 Pro, which obviously is a good thing, but to me it was never actually really a problem. Now I use two SIM cards in my phone. I use my business SIM card, which is a standard a standalone SIM card, and I use my personal SIM card, which happens to be a virtual sim because obviously this phone can have more than one sim card providing the fact that one of them is virtual now I know that there's been a lot of noise online about eSIMs and how bad they are but the thing is I've just had no experience of any issues with these I swapped it from my 6 Pro to my Z Flip 4 without any issues I swapped it from my Z Flip 4 to my Pixel 7 Pro without any issues it works straight away. All I had to do is log in to the EE website, which is my network provider, uh, get the QR code up, scan the QR code, and away I go. And all it takes is a reset, and it practically works straight away, which is a huge bonus. Uh, but obviously, I know that other people have experienced problems with eSIM. Unfortunately, I just haven't, as of yet, experienced any issues. I mean, it's easy to swap an eSIM to another phone, providing the fact that it is compatible. But it's not as easy as simply taking a physical SIM card out of the phone and taking it, putting it into a different uh, phone. Unfortunately, uh, it's just the way it is. Yeah. I see a future where these sort of things will be done through an app. The cover on this phone is also absolutely amazing. And one thing that this phone does have is your cinematic view so you've got a cinematic option on the camera just here which I haven't really had the chance to properly play around with but I did manage to get some footage of the tree yes I have my Christmas tree up now now Night photography is where this phone really, really surprised me. I mean, to be honest with you, I haven't really had the 6 Pro with me at the time, but I had the 7, and I thought that taking them to Gloucester Docks in Gloucestershire would con was going to be an absolutely perfect opportunity for me to take photos of um, the reflections of the water and the historic buildings. And this is what I managed to capture. <laughs> Now, I'm not really a photographer of any form, but I'm extremely surprised that I was able to capture such decent pictures with it. Now, in terms of standard videos such, such as this, which I'm funny enough recording with the Pixel 6 Pro, I haven't really had a chance to do them, but, but you will see videos and footage starting to be released in the very near future with this phone. As a whole, I think that I am extremely impressed with this phone. Now, I noticed that people were asking on Reddit and Twitter what sort of charger everyone uses with this phone. So I actually use two chargers at the minute. You'll probably see one of them just here. This is the Pixel Stand. This is the second gen Pixel Stand. Highly, highly recommended product. If you haven't checked out my video on it, I'll link it up above. But 
it literally turns the phone into a sort of smart hub, which I think is pretty cool. It allows you to control your lights, it allows you to control all sorts of things, and the charging speed. And of course, it charges it at super fast speed as well. Now, the mains charger I use is, it's a bit dirty, is this one. So this is the official UK Google Pixel charger. This is the 30 watt one. And yeah, I picked it up for about, I think it was £25 or something like that. Which was very similar to chargers uh, from Anker and other brands at a similar price. But I guessed I might as well go for the original product. And I do like this charger, I do, I do like the style of it. But yeah, overall, that is it for me in this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more great content. Till next time.